Hey, Capricorn, what's up? Welcome to your March predictions. Let's see what is going on for the month of March for you. What are the messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising? There will be an extended at the end of the video as well. You can find all the information in the description box below. So let's see, ooh, looking good, starting good. We got the Fool and we've got the King of Cups coming through. Let's see what more. We've got the Hierophant, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and the Sun. And I'm using the Phantom deck, by the way. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Whoa, this is a very positive reading. Seriously, like in your heart, you've been fighting for something. You're, you've been fighting for um, to get your right or to kind of focus only on the positive. I feel like you, there's definitely a huge shift going on where you're coming out of a very, um, like maybe in the past there was like a very tough cycle and now you're starting off fresh there is a fresh clean slate that you are starting with or a fresh new journey and i feel like for some of you you may be starting to become like healers there might be definitely some type of new calling that is coming in for you or that has been coming in for you in the recent past where you are learning a lot in regards to a new new journey in your life and you're definitely giving a lot of guidance, you're receiving a lot of support and you have a lot of faith in what it is that you are trying to communicate to um, to a lot of people, all right? You have a lot of authority within you and you are ready to make some huge shifts and changes and I feel like this has to do with actually the collective i don't know why i'm getting that but for those who are watching this i feel like you are becoming some type of a great healer or some type of a guru someone that is spiritually very aligned and very aware of what is going on you have a lot of knowledge about history is what i'm hearing as spirits say as well and you also have a lot of uh, compassion compassion and love for helping people because I do get the sense that you you're trying to find this new path or you're already on this path all right even if you feel like okay you're not there exactly you will be getting there because you are really being supported by the higher universe you are really being supported by your spirit guys I feel like these are your ancestors or um, whatever or whomever you are looking up to so you're really being charged up is what I feel in order to make some type of a huge shift within a collective energy. That's really what I'm picking up on for majority of you. All right. So you, you're, you're having some type of, how do I say that? Like, you know, when you get like a mission and your mission starts to get clear, that's what's going on for you. And you are emotionally quite you know, align within yourself. You have a lot of awareness when it comes to what it is that you need to pursue here. And I feel like, yeah, I feel like you're definitely shifting from, a, you know, from a, from a place where you may have not always felt very optimistic and you're moving towards a more optimistic future for yourself. A lot of things are getting clear for you and you're ready to actually yeah, I feel like you're spreading a lot of positivity and that's really what I'm picking up on. You are really in the prime light here as well. I feel like a lot of people are, you know, um, attracted to you. A lot of people are being like moved towards you. So you, you have a lot of speech. I, I see a speech that's going on for some of you. You might be having like a um, presentation or a speech in front of like a group of people. Uh, for some of you, you may even receive some type of reward. I don't know why this feels like a channeled message. Maybe it's not going to be for everyone, but um, yeah, I feel like you you come off very ins inspiring. All right, you you're someone that is really fighting for something. You're really fighting for some type of a justice in your life, or for someone in your surrounding, for a group of people, and you may have been quite busy with accomplishing this and with this two of pentacles i do feel like it's going to be 
like you're, you're, you're going to be achieving whatever it is that you want to achieve. And you've got the Ace of Pentacles. So this is going to be a very abundant future for you. With this Ace of Pentacles, there is a lot of wealth coming your way and a lot of celebration. So it does feel like you are going to be receiving some type of uh, award or reward. It does not have to be always 3D, but this is going to be also like 5D. Uh, for some of you, you may be attracting new people in your life, new friends, new societies that you are going to be vibing with. Your 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 soul tribe is coming in because I feel like there are two cards here talking about this celebration, and it feels like you're celebrating a win here when it comes to money, when it comes to an investment, when it comes to some type of big opportunity that is coming towards you which is going to be actually opening up the doors of having much more possibilities for your future. The Seven of Cups is saying that there are going to be a lot of choices and opportunities coming or being presented to you with the Seven of Cups. I don't, um, I'm not getting love just yet, but we will definitely, wow, we've got the tower coming through. So you're definitely, sh you know, shaking of some type of faulty foundation in your life, something that was not working. This is a huge shift that is going to come out of the blue, so it could be definitely surprising. All right, with this tower. Look, give me one more for the tower. And the temperance. So yeah, this, this huge shift and this breakthrough that's coming in, it's something that has been, well, how do I say that, like, that has been worked on behind the scenes for a very long time. This is something that is being, is getting in alignment in order to make this huge shift. Because the tower comes in very unexpectedly and it does release a lot of things that are not serving us anymore, all right? So absolutely, I feel like there is balance that is being created after this huge shift. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Please clarify what this is talking about for Capricorn. Three of Pentacles. Ace of Wands and a Six of Wands. So I feel like unexpectedly you will be starting to attract people in your life or there is going to be a sudden agreement or a commitment that is going to come out of this. So meaning that if you felt like people were a little bit against your idea, against your uh, creativity, something that you wanted to pursue, because I do feel like this Five of Swords has this background story to it saying like, okay, people were not agreeing with you or trying to sabotage your ideas. Uh, it's still not going to work because you will be finding people that will sponsor your ideas, people that will kind of like get on board with what, what it is that you want to uh, change in either your life, your company, your environment, um, social environment, whatever it is, you will be attracting the right people. Like I said, it could be sponsorships, but it could be also something else that are going to be supporting your idea and wanting you to pursue whatever it is that you want to pursue. And you will be receiving a lot of attention from that. All right. And this is going to be a successful idea that you're going to give birth to birth to. What is going on in your love life, actually, because I feel like this was not about love. These are too many cards. This is so slippery. This is a phantom deck, by the way. Lovely reading, lovely reading as well as lovely cards. Let's see, what is going on in your love life? You've got the King of Swords coming through. Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Hangman. So I feel like your person is a little bit holding back. Yeah, I feel like they are a little bit on a defense mode. They may have been, you know, disconnecting uh, at the moment. They feel a little bit intimidated by you uh, is what I'm feeling. They're trying to protect themselves. They, they're still in this mood of like, okay, I need to really hold back. I need to protect myself. Uh, they are being very cold and detached, all right, with this King of Swords. And I feel like they are going to be waiting until they are going to make a change in this situation because they feel like they need some more information. Uh, this person may also be in need to 
you know, release their stubbornness, release their, um, yeah, because I do sense some type of stubbornness of not trying to communicate with you, all right? So they are really trying to be on a defense mode and not trying to communicate what they are sitting on. And it's going to take some time for this person to truly open up because right now they feel like a little bit wounded here with this Knight of Wands and the Two of Swords, all right? They feel a little bit... Um, but like, look at that, the Five of Swords and the Seven of Cups. This is someone that is highly confused in regards to your intentions with them. And they they are still trying to think about ways to, to get at you, all right? To make you feel confused. And they, they, they are in need to shift their perception and shift their mindset. Because whatever they're doing is actually causing more for... For some stress and disharmony at this point and I feel like this situation is going on in your life right now so that you can actually focus on what is more important because you need to be um, you know you, you need to do your lecture is what I'm hearing spirit say so yeah that's what I'm seeing here that's what what I'm seeing here for you Capricorn so I hope that this reading gave you some insights. If you want to continue, we will be doing an extended, so you will find the link in the description box below this video, or you can become a member and get all extendeds for, um, for a amount of price. So you can find all the information down as well. So thank you so much, Capricorn, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.